And the field goal is good from 25. That big blue wall paving the way early on a nine-minute opening drive for Kentucky. It's three, both of them, 225 pounds. Against a four-man rush. Hockman with time. Downfield intercepted. It's Brandon Eccles. And Eccles slides down in to NC State territory. This is a ball hawking defense. Gabe Hawkman thought that maybe that guy's playing man. He's not going to be interfering with the corner route. So after a nine minute opening drive, Kentucky back at it. And Cavassier Smoke picking up a dozen and a first down. On third and nine, Hawkman engulfed. Jamin Davis got in there. So did Josh Pascal. It's what John Schlarman was all about, the late offensive line coach. Here's A.J. Rose bounding off tacklers and pinballs his way to the 25. Seth Williams is a redshirt frost, uh, sophomore, listed three on the, on the two deep, and he's made a lot of plays. Rodriguez into the secondary, bulldozes across the 30 for a first down. Coastal center is 5'9", 280, thereabouts. Yep. A.J. Rose, open sesame. It's a foot race with Duffy, and Rose out of bounds after a huge pickup. Can build a winner long term. Cavassier smoke with an opening to the outside and lunges forward inside the five-yard line. Goal-to-go possessions, only giving up a touchdown 41% of the time, almost a quarter of the possessions empty. But not this one. Rodriguez in for the first touchdown of this Tax Slayer Gator Bowl. Run by Rose. Smoke got him inside the 10. Rodriguez finishes the drive in style. Third and 13 after the penalty. Four man pressure with a spy, and Hockman delivers a strike. All that of 15, this from 40. And that wobbler doesn't get there. I don't know, was that tipped? I think it was partially blocked here. You had some penetration. If we take a look, be honest, because of who they played and the schedule. Here comes Rose. He had a big 47 yard run on the last drive. Still churning. Ball comes out at the end, but right into his embrace. Wow. Another big run for A.J. Rose. That Kentucky is doing. And again, they have just done such a poor job on the last two series. See uh, Rose hanging out of the football of, of plugging gaps. Wilson fires a strike. Allen Daly, the 6'3 junior from Pinson, Alabama. Defensive coordinator, they are getting everybody ready. They're going to attempt to throw it anyway, but it's got to go to the sideline here. Wilson to throw. Over the middle, the tight end, Rick. He's got running room. Rig inside the five. Perfect inside 40 for his career. And puts it through. Couple of seconds left on the clock. 13 nothing. And it appears we have another flag. Have been bottled up, and I, a lot of it, I think, is almost to their own detriment. Wolfpack will receive to begin the second half. And here is Knight, a dangerous return man. And Bam breaking through, tackle still churning. And gets the push, and maybe that's the spark that NC State needs across the 30. Second and eight, NC State Hockman back to the air, and airmails Carter again. And then Carter with a shove on Eccles. And Eccles has watched some uh, soccer during quarantine. Apparently. Oh, boy. Having to resuscitate him. What are you doing? What? There's no reason. Your team is in scoring distance. Well, what caused it? I mean, the result of the play is an incomplete pass. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct. Offense, number 88. That's his first 15 yard penalty from the dead ball spot.
Throws straight ahead, first down and more. Isaiah Moore back in there for NC State, try to rip it away, and more flags trailing the play, and all of them ride. Third and five. Hockman has an open receiver. It's Lesane bouncing off tacklers and takes it inside the 25. So Keon Lesane, three receivers to the boundary. Angeli, number six, a big target down here. Hockman under pressure, eluding the pursuit, throws on the run, end zone, and it's caught! C.J. Riley brings it in. Forced to create, this is where Bailey Hockman has been really good actually all year long. It's been, he's been out of the pocket. On third and seven, Wilson against the rush. NC State brought the nickel blitz, and Wilson able to convert a first down catch made. To that third and 11. I, that's That right there is an, a reflection of Kentucky's passing game all year. You, you have nowhere to go downfield with the football. Great punt by Duffy, and it's going to pin NC State inside of the five. Thought you could spike the ball on fourth down. <laughs> Bailey Hockman to throw from his own 13-yard line. Downfield into coverage, intercepted by Yusuf Corker. Has not fared well today versus zone coverage on intermediate and deep level throws. Just not seeing it. You know, Kentucky's done a really nice job mixing up some man to zone and Corker does a great job Given the look that he's going down the seam. First and 10 from the 30. That's he State was looking for something there. Instead, it's Rose. He's had a big game. Still going. Stiff arm out of bounds inside the five. Ruffalo two for two. And drills it from 20. Little chip shot. Kentucky up by two scores, less than six minutes to go in regulation. Is livid right now, and I don't blame him. Hockman thrown two picks into coverage. Thayer Thomas. Braid up, and a, and a tremendous catch by Thayer Thomas. First and goal after the penalty. Hockman chased by Bohanna, rather Hoskins, who gets the sack, and Hockman is saying it was a face mask. The line judge missed it, number one, and then certainly the umpire. Second and goal, Bam Knight. Inside the five, touchdown, NC State. Really well executed at the point of attack. Best executed run game play. Derek Eason has checked into the game as part of that O-line unit. Bailey Hockman, tipped and intercepted, Jamin Davis. The Kentucky defense steps up again. Third pick of the game. Liam Cohen will be the new OC next season. Rodriguez. He can take this to El Dorado. Run and run it some more in the same issue that plagued NC State throughout their contender. Down the middle, nearly intercepted again, but it is caught by Mezzi. Houston charges in for six. This is just a great physical individual effort there. Middle of the field's exposed. Goes 10 yards, it's fielded by Kentucky. And the Wildcats just need a couple of kneel downs, but not before a little more ugliness. This season for Kentucky was defined by loss and adversity and unimaginable emotions. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.